Hi guys, how are you? Yes, we're here with another homemade embellishment video. <laughs> this isn't a new idea. This has been around for a while, hot glue embellishments. In this case, I did hot glue embellishments with colored hot glue. So I do have a regular size, um, large, very old hot glue gun. And you know, most of the bag of like 500 glue sticks that I bought back in the 1990s and yeah. I didn't necessarily want to use either of those for this. I really didn't want to have to be bothered doing too much coloring of said glue after I made the embellishments. And I'll show you the couple different ways I did these. Um, so I bought one of these inexpensive, you know, cheapo hot glue guns. This is a high temp one and some colored glue sticks. You can see the remains of the blue one that's still in there to use for this project. Um, turned out so much better than I thought it was going to, to be honest. So what I did was I heated up the hot glue gun and of course started putting glue sticks in it. I had a sort of a brights pack that had bright colors in it plus black and white and then I had a sparkle pack. Um, the hot glue itself, I got it at Hobby Lobby. It was a little bit expensive. I do know they sell colored hot glue periodically at the dollar store. That will be the next place I get it because Hobby Lobby is a little pricey. Um, the, by the same token, I thought the glue gun was a pretty good deal. I do know sometimes they have these at Dollar Tree too, but this was only four bucks, so I was okay with spending that. So the first thing I did, of course, was just do some swirly blobby shapes with the hot glue. These are going to be great. In fact, I'm going to use some of these today on the tags and paper clips I'm going to make today. Um, I love these, and they, I have different colors. And then I thought as I was doing it, I wonder if you had one of my wax seals handy <laughs> and you put just a blob of hot glue and then really quickly while it was hot push this into it what would happen well <laughs> it worked just great now I will say I tried this on the metal cookie sheet without the Teflon insert that worked but it was hard to get it off the cookie sheet it got came off but it was hard to get off so I would recommend taking one of your old craft mats. I never throw these craft mats away, like very rarely. When the one on the table gets sort of old and past it, I put a new one on the table, but I save the old one and cut it up to line my cookie sheets. It works like a charm. So I got one of my small ones to fill the cookie sheet, and I put it in here, and then I put another blob of hot glue, put it down, and while that was wet, uh, I'm sorry, hot, I pushed the wax seal into it and let it dry. I just left it standing there, and went and did other stuff. When it was done, the whole thing comes off the Teflon sheet, and then you just peel it off the wax seal. It came off like a charm. Now, it's gonna be really hard to see the design on here, but this is my B seal. And what you could do, just like with some of the other stuff, is after you make it, take a little bit of something like this rub and buff, and just very lightly, and it'll make the design stand out. And then you can use that on um, one of your embellishments for a tag, a, a paper clip. I almost said bookmark. Yeah, bookmark, you could do that. Um, an artist tra trading card, artist trading coin, a journal page, just about almost anything. They'd be super cute. I also did these sort of swirly blobby shapes that could be used for the same thing, and these are great. And I'll show you. When you're storing them, if you do a lot of them, you do want to store them between wax paper because they will sort of try to stick to each other. Um, and then put the wax paper sheets between two pieces of chipboard, which is what I have here. And then it's just held together with rubber bands. And um, I made a bunch of round scribbly shapes. I did do this sort of just wax, I'm um, wax, holy cow, glue, glue strings. And I think this would also be interesting. You could pull it apart and use it. You could spread it out like this, maybe use it over a book spine or something. You can also just cut a hunk of it off, so that's going to be fun. And it has a bunch of different colors in it. Um, let me get, there we go. And you can just, you know, make, I ended up making a whole bunch of stuff. It was a lot of fun. I think they're going to be fun to use. And I can't wait to see um, what I can create with them. Now, if you want to see what I do with these or some of the other homemade embellishments I've been doing and you're not waiting, wanting to wait for a vlog video or something else on YouTube, 
follow me on Instagram or follow me on Twitter or over in Facebook, one of the Facebook groups, because I share what I make every day over in all of those places. So I want you all to go out and experiment making homemade embellishments. If you do something with hot glue, I want to see it. Please share. That would be great. Or if you have some ideas, leave something in the comments below, questions, comments, concerns, anything like that. If you want to follow me on one of those social media sites, or you want to support the free content here on Facebook, I mean YouTube, or over on Facebook, um, or follow, find my website or anything else like that, go to the link tree list of links in the description below because there's a whole huge list of things where in places where you can find me. My happy mail address is in the description below. Check it out, see what you think, and above all, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Like, share, and subscribe, and let me know what you think. Hot glue embellishments. I love it. I'll be back.